this video. At six o'clock, I shall now go home to a very angry partner. Although that's not actually, she's not actually angry because I earned some brownie points last night because I picked her up at about 2 a.m. because she was out fagging a beer in. So I earned some brownie points there. It's always good to earn brownie points with your partner, you know? It's always good. It's a good thing to earn brownie points because what the great thing about brownie points is that you can cash them in, you know? And this is the great thing, especially if you're working for yourself and you've got to learn and understand this. If, if you've got a partner, you know, boy or girl, doesn't matter, uh, at some point you're going to screw up and that's a fundamental flaw in working for yourself. At some point you're going to drop a cog and you know, your wife, she's going to be unhappy with you and you've got to have a little nest egg of brownie points that you can cash in when you make a mistake. You know? So like a penny went out fagging and beer and, you know, and I had to go and pick her up at about two o'clock in the morning from King's Cross Station. Uh, you know, and I didn't want to, but obviously I've done that, but I know, I didn't say this, but I know it, and she also knows it, that that's like brownie points, you know, that, that's, I've, there's like five brownie points I've earned, and that's now gone in the pocket, and then when I screw up, which is more than, I'm, I'm going to screw up at some point next week, maybe I'll have to cash in two of those brownie points, but I'll still have three in reserve, so it's always good, o occasionally you've got to do stuff that you can earn brownie points on. It's very important. I did explain this concept to Penny and she said that's complete nonsense. But every guy that I've spoken to all agree with that. So, yeah, anyway. The fact that I'm, it's a Friday and I'm not home yet, I'm gonna have to cash in some of those brownie points. But that's not worth five brownie points, that's like two brownie points. Of course, the other thing you've gotta be careful with is that you then, if you, if you screw up really badly, and we're talking like a big, big mistake, right? If you haven't got enough brownie points saved up, you then go into what's called a brownie deficit. And then that's really bad because then you've used all the brownies that you had and you're, you now owe brownies back. And the only way that that can be cured is with flowers and chocolates. Uh, Prosecco is what Penny likes. So, and then you have to do that thing. It's not, it's, it's not a cool look when you're standing in Tesco or worse, in a petrol station, and you're standing there with petrol station flowers and a bottle of cheap Prosecco because everyone looks at you like, they all know that you've cocked up and that's not, you're not doing that because you love it, you're doing that to say sorry. It's not a cool look, so don't ever get in brownie deficit. That's a bad place to be.